In this video, I'm going to show you how to check for diastasis recti so you can learn how to lose your mummy tummy for good. Stay tuned. When we are pregnant or have babies, doctors don't typically show us or tell us what diastasis recti is. And for those of you who are still kind of scratching your heads, diastasis recti happens when out we have a split down our stomach that happens through the pressure of our babies being in our tummies. Men and kids can also have a diastasis, but the one I'm talking about is from pregnancy. And you can have it even on your first baby, or you could have it with every baby that you have. Many women have issues with pelvic floor issues, back pain. One of the most likely culprits for mummy tummy is a diastasis. I've had one. Um, it's still not all closed up but I have had it with my second baby. My first baby, I think I was pretty lucky. I never checked for it and I was doing sit-ups and that's one of the things that you should not be doing. If you have an inkling that you have a diastasis or that split, then you should not be doing crunches. There are other ways that we have to strengthen our core. But for today, what we're gonna be talking about is how to check it. Let's get started. So what you want to do is lie down on the ground, put your feet on the ground with your knees bent. I'm going to put one hand behind my head and hold it for support. And I'll show you now. I'm on vacation, so I'm in my shorts <laughs> and not my workout gears. It was a little awkward, but we'll get this done. So you're going to pull this up and then all you're going to do, now the split, like I said, is from, it can be from all the way from your sternum all the way down to the pubic bone. Mine is not as big, but I can tell if I lift up, and I want you to blow out too, so you're gonna lift your head up, blow all the way out, and you're gonna start to feel in the middle. We measure it by finger widths, so it could be one finger width, two finger widths, three or four. If you're at four, it is an extreme, and you have to talk to your OBGYN, actually anything, past the two mark, talk to your OBGYN. Um, there could be some other issues around like pelvic floor issues and like I mentioned earlier. So it's important to talk to them, but a lot of times you have to talk to them and ask them because they won't volunteer the information. They don't even talk about diastasis. So here we go. We're gonna lift our heads and you're gonna feel around. Now I can tell and you could probably see a little bit in the video where it caves in in my belly button. I have a little bit of a diastasis and it's not too bad now. It's about a one. You're going to find like in my belly button, there's, it's about almost two. And I don't have it. You're going to go all the way down to the pubic bone. So to recap, and I'll try with my other side so you'll be able to see it in the camera. You're going to lift your head and you're going to exhale and then you're going to go all the way down the middle to see where you have a gap and how bad it is. When I first did it, I was super freaked out because it kind of scared me how deep it could go and uh, you might be a little freaked out. For those of you who have a little extra loving on the, on the tummy, uh, you're going to have to push a little bit um, just to get in there to, to feel. Don't go too crazy hard. but you might have to get in there a little bit. I was the same way. I used to be 54 pounds heavier. It was a little awkward trying to find it, but you'll be able to find it. So you lift up, you exhale, and then you're just gonna feel down the middle and check. And I can feel that it's starting to split at my tummy, or sorry, at my belly button. And then you just go all the way down and you'll be able to feel where it is that it's splitting. And that's how easy it is that you can test for yourself. You can even have hubby help you or a, a girlfriend help you just to, just to see. But there's another way to do it where you can actually do a pelvic floor lift and then lift and then you feel it. And it'll give you a little bit more indicator if you don't know how to do that. Um, I probably will do a video in the future on it. But first, it's important to identify that diastasis and and get it done and there it is i have mostly on my belly button you can see
And that's a simple way to check for diastasis. Comment below and tell me where you're at in your diastasis. Is it one fingers, two, three, four? Do you have it just on the top? Is it just in the middle? Do you have it all areas? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Please also comment on what you'd like to know more about diastasis and what future videos you'd like me to do because I'm open to hearing from you. Thank you so much for your time. Until next time.